Alrighty, so unfortunately they have sort of buffed this guy up a little bit since the last time he came around, so he's not nearly as easy as he used to be. But, um, from my understanding, if you have LR Escanor, you can actually still two-turn this thing, but if you do not have him, your best case scenario is either going to be a three or four turn. Uh, the big thing with this boss is he has a buff right here that makes it to where humans do 30% more damage to him. Uh, so that is going to be a big deal. Another thing that you kind of have to worry about is this one right here. Basically, stats are going to be increased by 10% for each battlefield buff. So uh, we are bringing Kizuna in, but the attack related stats should help enough to where it warrants the fact that we're going to be putting buffs on. You just don't really want to use her actual buff card because that's going to be putting on a lot of buffs and that's going to give him a lot of stats. So uh, if you have new Light Esk or light uh, Bond actually, uh, you can use him. I was trying out a couple of different team comps with Roxy to see if I could try to get um, the characters to do a little bit of extra damage because of her passive but at the end of the day without having uh, Slater on here and then increasing attack related stats and everything for some reason Escanor just cannot create against this boss so uh, that is a little bit unfortunate but uh, we're basically just going to try to uh, buff up here get a little bit of damage out start building up some stuff with Escanor and then if possible we can try to see what our cards are on turn two merge them, try to go for Escanor's ultimate if possible, and then use his finger to kill off this phase, go into the next phase, and try to just do as much damage as humanly possible. So, you can see Bon obviously does really good damage, but um, the problem being that he, uh, he kind of has to have his full combo to be able to pull that kind of damage off, so it's going to be a little bit inconsistent, maybe not the, uh, the greatest, uh, you know, idea to just rely on him only, but uh, yeah, so we're going to throw this out, we're going to merge these we're gonna use this and then honestly I think I'm just gonna I kind of want to use this so that way I can get more card draw but if I can pull another bond combo that could be really nice too because my Escanor is only three six so I don't really think that I'm gonna be able to kill with the ultimate which this might not even kill on its own to be honest okay actually did pretty respectable damage there looking pretty good uh, let's see if we can draw a snipe card if possible. We do not. So let's go ahead and put our attack related stat buffs back on. We'll use this. We'll go ahead and debuff him and then we'll throw this out just because it probably isn't going to do much anyway. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do enough to kill this turn. But uh, like I said, unless you have LR Escanor, it does not seem like you're going to be able to pull off a crazy uh, two-turn kill, which I don't know how consistent that team is either. I assume it's pretty consistent, considering you can just use his um, attack card at higher levels to rush his ultimate, and then I assume they're just using his ultimate on turn two to burst the enemy down. But uh, yeah, I don't have him just yet. I should actually have him tomorrow, so I might be able to showcase that later on, but normally... Uh, by the time these videos kind of come out, they, uh, there's not really a whole lot of use for uh, extra guides on these kind of things. So uh, either way, that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing it for now. Uh, maybe, like I said, once I get LR Escanor, or if you already have him, you might be able to test him out. I don't really know what the team is specifically. I might try to do a little bit more research on that and uh, update you guys whenever that comes out. So uh, yeah, I... Uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any teams that could be better, I did try a couple of different demon teams. Um, honestly, don't think it really worked out too well. I think the fact that he just takes more damage from humans in general is probably going to be your best bet. And uh, we do have some pretty hard-hitting humans now, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad, but obviously a little bit more character-specific. So maybe you could try Brunhild out, uh, a couple of other different humans, maybe Roxy or something like that. But uh, at the end of the day, just kind of use what you can if the, uh, the highest difficulty is not working out too well for you. It might take a couple of extra days but just lower your difficulty it'll it'll be a lot less heartache to be honest so uh, that's pretty much it from me thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe i'll see you later